Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our communication in context. We are now at our 15th week, and for week 15, our topic is about organizing and delivering a memorized speech. For this week, uh, we will uh, identify the features of a memorized speech, also develop and deliver an effective memorized speech, and evaluate and critic a memorized speech. So let's proceed to our discussion. So a memory speech uh, requires you to commit the speech to memory so that you do not bring your notes when delivering it. As with the manuscript speech, you also run the risk of sounding mechanical during a memorized delivery. For this reason, um, keep your memorized speech short and work harder on your facial expressions and the tone of your voice. When delivering a memorized speech, communicating the message effectively and not reciting all the lines correctly is the priority in memorized delivery is not recommended for long speeches. So choosing when to memorize depends on the topic and the occasion. So when you should memorize, although keeping a speech in memory is needed, only on very rare occasions, memorizing a speech can help you achieve a smooth and effortless delivery. So you do not need to focus on notes or a manuscript. You can concentrate on maintaining eye contact with your audience, establishing rapport, and interacting with your audience. Since memorizing can be very tough and mechanical, it is best that you memorize short speeches for special occasions. And also, a memorized speech works best for the introduction of a guest, acceptance of award or recognition, toast, eulogy, tribute, and the like. So, <clears throat> is for memorized speech. So we have your disadvantage of the memorized speech. So you might forget what you are supposed to say. Long pauses can create a very awkward moment between you and your audience. Also, you might memorize the speech mechanically, and this can result in a very unnatural delivery of a monotone voice. And you might focus on content. So consequently, groping for the right words might make you look uptight and stiff, and you might be too tight to remember in your script. This will give you no chance to pay attention and respond to audience feedback as well. So these are the disadvantage of memorized uh, speech. So for the advantages of delivering a memorized speech, uh, you do not need notes anymore. Since the speech is memorized, you do not have to worry about when to read and when to glance at your audience. Also, you can plan gestures, facial expressions, and movement. So when you know the speech by heart, it will be easier for you to work on nonverbal communication. And also, you can concentrate on visual aids and props. A memory speech will help you focus more on props if you have any. And you will feel more confident if you know that you have committed the speech to memory and you will not be anxious about running out of words or not knowing what to say. So these are the advantages of delivering a memorized speech. So we have some tips in delivering a memorized speech. Uh, um, first is you have to break it down. So uh, you cannot memorize a speech in one sitting. Of course, uh, hindi naman agad-agad yan na may memorize. Kailangan talaga sentence per sentence yan or uh, paragraph per paragraph. And if your speech has four paragraphs, you should focus on one paragraph at a time. Once you have memorized the first paragraph, focus on the next one. So break it down. The next step is build it up. So after memorizing the speech, it's uh, after memorizing the speech, um, paisa-isa or word per word or uh, per group, you need to put them together. Na syempre, recite the first paragraph and move on to the second. After this, recite the first and second paragraphs and move on to the third. And the next thing you know, you have completed your speech. And the last, uh, the second tip is speak out. So do not memorize the speech silently. When you recite your speech over and over while memorizing it, your brain multitask and aids your memory retention. Also, identify keys. Identify a key point um, in every paragraph. Even if you miss out some of the words in the uh, actual speech delivery, you can easily expound on the key points. Of course, don't forget to have a break. And after memorizing some parts of the speech, take a break for some hours or for a day. After this, recite the speech again. 
This will tell us how well you can recall what you think you have memorized. And of course, um, you may record also and listen to yourself. So usually yung ginagawa ng iba nag-record sila and then pinapakinggan nila kung ano yung mga mali nila, lalo na sa pronunciation and paano pa sila mag improve dun sa speech. And usually pag may record mo to, parang kanta lang to na may memorize mo na siya. So also, uh, use note cards. So write one key point on note card. Usually bring these note cards wherever you go and take them whenever you have extra time to memorize, especially during idle times of the day. So again, these are the tips on delivering a memorized speech. Break it down, build it up, speak out, identify keys, have a break, record and listen, and use note cards as well. So we also have here the following are additional tips in delivering a memorized speech. So of course, practice the speech in front of a mirror to watch nonverbal cues in the right parts. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then break down the speech according to ideas when memorizing. So commit to memory each main idea first. And of course, keep the speech short and concise by using short words and brief sentences. Hindi kailangan na sobrang haba. Hindi kailangan sobrang um, ikli. Kailangan on the point lagi ang sinasabi mo if you are going to deliver a speech. So once again, these are for week. Um, 15 lessons. So for references, we have oral communication in context by Apollonia Joshua and textbook for senior high school. Also, features manual for oral communication in context for senior high school. So for activity requirements, we have activity one and activity two. So we have activity one is speech evaluation and activity two is speech, simple speech writing and delivery. So I would suggest na hindi na kailangan gawin yung activity one, but just do activity two. So simple speech writing and delivery. So choose any of the following occasions and write a 10 sentence speech. So ito yung mga um, occasions. So giving it toast during a wedding, presenting an award, accepting an award, giving tribute to a person, place, or event, and introducing a person. So um, just choose one and then record yourself with the speech. So, in your handouts or PDF files, we have tips and also the evaluation um, on how you will be uh, judged or scored through the following criteria in, uh, in the activity. So, before ending this lesson, I would like to share to you a video discussion on how to organize and deliver a memory speech. We're going to discuss on how to organize and deliver a memorized speech. First, what is memorized speech? A memorized speech is the act of memorizing the information in a speech and presenting it without using notes. There is a benefit to delivering a speech this way. It doesn't require the speaker to carry note cards around the stage. He can focus on his audiences, body language, and spatial expressions. For this reason, keep your memorized speech short and work harder on your facial expressions and the tone of your voice. So, when we should memorize? Since memorizing can be very tough and mechanical, it is best that you memorize short speeches for special occasions. Like for example, a memorized speech works best for the introduction of the guests, acceptance of award or recognitions, toast or the best man's speech, eulogy, and tribute those are the times that we should memorize or use memorized speech next is what are the disadvantages of memorized speech the first one is 
you might forget what you are supposed to say. Long pauses can create an awkward moment between you and your audience. Second, you might memorize the speech mechanically. This can result in a very unnatural delivery. The other one is you might focus on content. Consequently, groping for the right words might make you look uptight and stiff. And the last one is you might be too tied to remembering your script. This will give you no chance to pay attention and respond to the audience feedback. Those are the disadvantages that you must avoid in delivering memorized speech. How about the advantages of memorized speech? First, you do not need notes anymore. Since the speech is memorized, you do not have to worry about when to read and when to glance at your audience. Second, you can plan gestures, facial expressions, and movement when you know the speech by heart. It will be easier for you to work on nonverbal communications like gestures and facial expressions. And the other one is you can concentrate on visual aids and props. A memorized speech will help you focus more on your props if you have any. And the last one is you will feel more confident if you know that you have committed the speech to memory. You will not be anxious about running out of words or not knowing what to say. So there are seven tips in memorizing speech. What are those? Number one, break it down. You cannot memorize a speech in one sitting. If your speech has four paragraphs, you should focus on one paragraph at a time. Once you have memorized the first paragraph, focus on the next one. So next we have build it up. After memorizing the speech in snippets, you need to put them together. Recite the first paragraph and move on to the second. After this, recite the first and second paragraphs and move on to the third. The next thing you know, you have completed your speech. Always one a step at a time. The third one is speak out. Do not memorize the speech silently. When you recite your speech over and over while memorizing it, your brain multitasks and aids your memory retention. The fourth one is identify keys. Identify a key point in every paragraph. Even if you miss out some of the words in the actual speech delivery, you can easily expound on the key points. Number 5. Have a break. After memorizing some parts of your speech, take a break for some hours or for a day. After this, recite the speech again. This will test how well you can recall what you think and what you have memorized. Take a break. You deserve it. Number six, record and listen. Record yourself delivering the speech and listen to it over and over again. Like a song, the speech will get stuck in your head when you are listening to it over and over again.
Then the last one is use note cards. Write one key point on one note card. Bring these note cards wherever you go and take them out whenever you have extra time to memorize, especially during idle times of the day. So that's all for this video and if you like this lesson, please hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's support our small content creators by our own Filipinos. God always be with us. See you in another lesson. Thank you. just a share the video link for this uh, video that I have shared to you. So once again, activity to only. So thank you. So uh, Sir Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes from the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 23. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you once again and God